Today we're gonna to talk about how to write wedding speeches by the parents. Hi everybody, it's me Henry and welcome to my channel, a channel to provide values for those who want to improve their speaking skills and bring more impacts to the audience. Just like today, I'm gonna to share with you step by step how to write wedding speeches by the parents. Now first of all, congratulations to all the parents for your son's or daughter's wedding and you're also going to have a new family members, congratulations. And if you're looking for the ideas on how to write and what are the things that you're gonna see, you are at the right channel, right video because in a short while, I'm gonna share with you the tips. So all you need to do is just sit back, relax, and watch until the end of this video and grab all those tips for your reference. Now let's get started. Before we start, there's few things that you need to know which is the main objective of your speech. Now you need to understand the main thing that you want to say is about your son's or your daughter's weddings and also your words of wisdom to a student and the wishing to the couple. And the next thing is that you need to understand this is not a speech competition. So there's no need for you to compare yourself with anybody else. Now, you know, the best speech is always talk from your heart. So this is the best speech as I know. And the second thing is that you can hold any reading material such as a paper, a tablet, or smartphone, anything. It is okay. It is completely fine for you to hold any reading material material on the stage, on the rose room. And the next thing is do not drink a lot of alcohol. Don't get drunk. Limit your alcohol level and you need to make sure you are clear on what you're saying. And the next thing is that keep it short and sweet, which means five to 10 minutes with the right timing, right content, and it is from your heart. This is the best speech in the world. And now let's get started. The first step is when you come to the stage, smile, relax, make yourself comfortable and straight away introduce yourself. Now the introduction is just keep it short and simple. Well, my name is Henry. I'm the father or the mother of the groom or the bride. And nice to see all of you here. That's it, simple, nice. And right after the introduction, you can strike away to say big thanks to your guests, especially if you have special guests or you have guests from far, from long distance. Thank you very much for being here. Or you can thanks to the bridesmaids or the groomsmen, bride party, or anybody else contribute a lot and to make this wedding celebration a perfect one. Say a big thanks to them and followed by the rest of all the guests. Thank you very much for being here. And after the thank you notes, up next, you may slowly talk about your son or your daughter. Then you may start to describe some favorite memories such as the day when the groom or the bride was born. It is just this size. And you can describe how naughty is the boy or the girl or how smart or how confident is the boy or the girl. And after today, express your pride in your son or your daughter. And you may say, I'm so proud of you. And today, you're so beautiful. If it is a bride, you're so beautiful, smart, confident and today i'm so happy finally you have found your soulmate or your life partner i'm so proud of you and i'm so happy for you and you may add in some fun elements or funny story if you have that would probably make your speech even better if you have and now after talking about your son or your daughter next you may talk about your son-in-law or your daughter in law so you may start to describe when the first time you met your son-in-law or your daughter-in-law how would you describe him or her during the first meeting and you can add in some favorite memories as well to make the story even more interesting and right after the impression or the description about your son-in-law or your daughter-in-law that you can continue with a former welcome them to your new family welcome to my family and i'm so happy and today i have a son or i have a daughter to my family and i welcome the family members of my son-in-law or my daughter-in-law welcome them and after welcoming them to your family up next you may share some words of wisdom on how to maintain a relationship or a marriage or how to enhance them then you may share something on this in the form of story or a poem depends on what you have or your talents then you may share all this after the words of wisdom you may slowly 
end your speech with the beautiful wishes to the couple. And today, as the father or the mother or the parents of the couple, I wish you have the wonderful marriage. After the wedding wishes, you may end your speech with a toast and you can ask everybody, let us all raise a glass together and give the couple a toast. Wish them wonderful marriage. Cheers! Then your speech is finished and done. So up next is that once you have all the ideas, the next thing is that write them down Put them into practice. You see, practice always makes perfect and practice also makes progress. So through the practice, you will know how long you're gonna take for your speech and where to add in some fun element, the punchline, everything. It is important for you to practice. If you're looking for the ideas on how to improve your public speaking skills, I would strongly recommend you to watch my previous foundation videos such as how to speak confidently, how you stand, hand gesture, body language, eye contact, your voice projection, and strongly believe once you have the foundation together with the ideas today, your speech is going to be fantastic and it is the best speech. The best speech is because you are speaking from your heart. And hey, if you find by listening, learn something from this video, you gotta smash the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so that you're not gonna miss out any videos such as this and this channel. And most importantly, leave the comments below. Let me know what you think. I would love to read the comments and reply to your comment and I hope to see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.